Hello, my question is, we have a shelf in our pool with a bubbler. Our problem is the pressure is low because the filter needs to be on for our bubbler to work. The valve is all the way up but barely comes out of the water like the one I saw in your YouTube video. Ours is not doing much at all. Someone said it is because it isn't on its own pump. Is there a way to fix this problem? We spent a lot of money on the Pentair equipment and I wish someone would have said something about it not getting enough pressure to it when it would be connected to the filter. So there's several ways. I'm, I'm assuming in my head, I'm picturing your filtration system with, uh, after it comes out of the filter or heater, if you have a heater, then it diverts and it's going to the pool returns and then maybe an elbow off of that goes to this bubbler. What likely could happen, one of, one of a couple fairly simple solutions there's something easy you could do, and then there's something a little more advanced. The easiest solution probably would be to put larger restriction eyeballs or smaller restriction eyeballs on the returns. If you have normal returns in the side of the pool, if you restrict those holes down smaller, so you're, you're putting more back pressure on the system, you'll get more water to come up out of that bubbler because it, it can't push as easily through the, the return jets into the pool. That's the simplest solution. Usually there's two, three, four return jets. If you restrict at least a couple of them with, uh, with a little bit smaller eyeball, a hole in the eyeball, that'll help. Will make a big difference. The other possibility would be, depending on how it's plumbed together, there could always put, be a three-way valve put in. One going to the bubbler and the, others going, the other going and going to the return of your pool. And what you could do is you could throttle down the water going back to the pool returns and force more of it to go into the into the bubbler. Uh, short of that, I mean, it should work just fine. It's just a matter of being able to divert the water properly. I guess the other possibility would be to have a, an additional valve put on on the return line side. The challenge and the problem with that and why a lot of pool companies won't do it is they don't want to give you too many valves to turn for fear of you closing something and restricting the flow to the point where it starts breaking things on the front side of that. So whatever you do, the simplest, putting changing the eyeball size will help. The other two solutions, you just have to, the, the second solution with the three-way valve, you can't ever completely screw that one up. But the third option by putting an additional valve just on the return line, uh, you always run that risk of having both those valves closed when you turn the pump on and causing other issues in the equipment.